gracious greetings everyone welcome back this is the week of february 24th 2020 and we're doing our weekly chakra insight oracle reading welcome back to those of you who are reoccurring um, subscribers great to see you for those of you who are new welcome to the channel i'm so glad you're able to come and join us today what we do for those of you who are not aware is we read on the weekly energy um, using the chakra system. For those of you who are not aware of the chakra system, it is a seven point system that is throughout our body, but this is our energetic body. So our energetic system that helps us align. So when somebody says, oh, my chakras are out of whack or they're out, out of balance, it kind of helps. It's just talking about pulling our energetic body together. So we are a complete being, we are one. Starts at the base, our root chakra, which is our home and finances and our family. Goes at, starts at our sacrum, goes up to our pelvic region with our sacral chakra, which is our home of emotions and also creativity. Next is our solar plexus chakra, that is our willpower, which is located in our stomach. Our heart chakra, which is ding, 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 you guessed it, located in our chest by our heart area which is our ability to give and receive love openly. Next is our throat chakra located in our throat, our ability to speak our divine truth, speak who we are and be truthful, and also listen. Our ability to listen is not just about speaking, but it's also as important to listen. Then next is our third eye chakra in our forehead area, our ability to perceive um, outside of just what we see with our two eyes, but also our additional eye to help us see um, additional factors and thoughts. And then lastly, our crown chakra, which is um, located at our crown, our head, which helps us balance um, how we are in the universe and how we align in the universe. So I got a weird, I meditated a little bit before doing this, and the message that I got was uh, resonance. I'm like, but it's, it's the sound, how sounds resonate and carry. Um, did you know that energetically, um, each of those chakras, each of those energy bases has a megahertz attached to it, actually has a frequency, and hence energy being frequency, which creates a sound. What sound are we giving to the universe? Are we aligned? in our chakra system, are we aligned in our, in our being that we're putting out sounds that resonate to our highest being and who we're supposed to be? Um, are we putting out sound waves and energy that attract what we want, attract those people in our lives that are gonna help us fulfill our destiny? Or are we putting out some little stank, dark, low vibrational, sounds, i.e. low vibrational energy. So I'm going to pull three cards to see what we have in store for this week. Wow. And wow. All right. So this week we have creativity in our throat chakra. We have family again. I believe we had family last week. So a reoccurring theme this week is family in our base chakra or our root chakra. And then we actually pulled the base root chakra card. So what is that telling us for this week? If I had to tell this in a story, how do we speak about our family and our tribe? And how does that story that we tell match with who we are foundationally on this earth? And how does that story push out frequency for how we attract and detract things? So I'm gonna say that again. Okay, creativity. Creativity is um, imagination, expression, originality, and passion, okay? So how do we speak? How are we speaking? What story are we telling about our family and our background, how we grew up? how our family influenced our traditions, our thoughts, um, our ability to function just on a, on a basic level with its you know, finances, um, 
just basic, basic, basic human needs. How does that story about our family, what energy we're giving off of that story, tie into how we really feel and perceive ourselves on this earth, our base? How is it helping us ground ourselves? Okay. So the thing that I find is interesting is we all have a story. Our family, our belonging, our community, our tribe from onset of birth helps shape who we are going to be until we get to an age where we can start formulating our own thoughts, our own opinions, right? This is just basic knowledge, basic psychology, what, what have you. Some of us get trapped in this story of our family that is not holistic on the positive side or on the negative side, right? Sometimes we cherish things in our background and our family that may be a little short-sighted or like give an example. There's um, with my family, let's just say uh, we're very, very independent. Oh my gosh. We are like family raised for my dad had four daughters. We are all super, super independent. And so we like, I like to hold on to that. But sometimes that independence has hindered some relationships that I have and how I told that story about the independence that I got from my family did kind of put out a story that caused my vibration to not be the highest. And it did cause not my, not only others to look at me, but me to look at myself in a way that may not be the truth, the whole story. Now, I know you're saying that's really stupid. That's independence. Everybody should be independent. That's great. But sometimes independence can be not being able to ask others for help, right? So again, working on that heart chakra, the ability to give and receive love and not feeling guilt behind it, right? So there's a story that I've told, speaking my divine truth about my family that causes me to how I am on this earth, my independence on this earth can kind of, there's a direct correlation behind that. You see what I'm saying? So that's probably the shittiest example, but it's an example. I, um, so how is it the story you're telling about your background or the stories that you're creating in your mind, right? The stories that have been passed down from your family, the things that you hold about your family and your upbringing, how does that shape who you are in this earth? And how does that create a frequency that either um, creates more abundance in far, as far as love and attracting your goals, or how does it detract from it? So many times as adults, we hold on to a story about our past, a story. And when I say story, guys, you know I mean not an actual like story, but an actual narrative of how something in our life played out. How are we telling the story either to ourselves or to others about our past, how we grew up that shapes who we are on this earth? Actually, I think if I had just said that from the beginning, this video could have been two minutes. <laughs> how is the story we are telling ourselves about our background shaping who we are on this earth? Here's the beautiful thing about it. If the story that we're telling about ourselves is not giving or to ourselves even not shaping the way we want it to. It's not necessarily holding true to who we are in our foundation. You can change it guys. It's that simple. It's called looking at it from a different perspective, telling yourself a different part of the story, telling yourself the story from an outsider looking in and not the person involved. One of the greatest healing techniques we can ever do is when we take a step back at, from a situation and look at it holistically as if we're telling somebody else the story and not an active participant in the story. Um, that's how you can really, really look at something and hold yourself and others accountable or even sometimes just get 14 chuckles like, wow, you know what? That really was not as traumatic as I thought it was. I, looking back at it, that really was a smaller part of the day, but I told myself the whole day sucked because of that one small aspect. So now that I take a step back, okay, or you know what that actually did hurt more. Wow. That really was a messed up situation that I kind of tried to downplay. So I didn't feel the sting from what happened. It could go both ways. So just remember the story we 
create, right? And tell, most importantly, tell, it doesn't necessarily have to be out loud. It can be even to ourselves. Because remember, this is a, the throat chakra is about speaking your divine truth. How is the story that we're telling, either to ourselves or to others, about our past, about things that we, our tr tribe and things that we gathered from childhood through adolescence, shaping who we are? Do we like it? If we do, great. Even then, let's be objective about it. If we don't like it, we have the ability to change the narrative. And that's the beauty of it. It's all about how hard you work. You got to do the work. So that's what I'm getting for this week. All of that pertains to how aligned we are in our energetic body, how, what frequency we put off, and how that frequency literally resonates as far as sound, the frequency, the megahertz, how that resonates out into this universe. So that's the message we have for this week. Let's pull our favorite, favorite card that I just, two just flew out. And in case you were wondering what flew out, one was the uh, King of Pentacles. The other one is uh, King of Wands. If you give me a second, I'll grab it. There we go. So let's pull our message card for the week to see what lovely message and advice the universe wants us to take away from this week. Here's your homework assignment, but here's the message that the universe wants us to have. And this week we have, drum roll please, boop, the seven of wands. Ah ha ha, this is very, very true. This is a good message. I take great care of what I value. So here, I take great care of what I value. Placing value on the story we tell ourselves about our, our childhood, our rearing, our family, if we take good care of that, looking at it from a holistic standpoint, from an objective standpoint, that helps us align at the very root, ground us to the very foundation that we have on this earth. Thank you so much for letting me sit with you and do another weekly reading. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate all of you. If you would like a reading, just reach out. Um, to us via the website, which is redlentilhealing.com. Um, you can book either a tarot reading or a chakra insight oracle reading. Um, or we can just sit and gab about the energetic body or what we like to watch on TV. Either way, I'm good. You guys, until next week, take care. Please love on yourself so we can love on others, so we can all love on Mama Earth. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.